Today for the Bitcoin price, breaking news guys, not only that Bitcoin has been breaking down here below this long term uptrend here for Bitcoin, which we actually have put in all the way back from March 2020. No guys, also 40 minutes ago here at the time of recording, we have put in and confirmed here this minus capitulation. We were actually calling for weeks here immediately after the halving. Also guys, in this video, I do want to shed light here on this insane fractal here, which is exactly one on one repeating here from 2016. With look at this, we have an uptrend here leading into the halving, sideways action, minus capitulation and the price going down. And the exact same thing here in 2016, we have an uptrend here leading into the halving, sideways action, minus capitulation down. And guys, this is the bottom line here. Look at what happened afterwards guys well we will be talking about all of that and the question right now is with bitcoin breaking this key market structure here can we look out for severe severe more downwards momentum to six thousand us dollars or are we likely to go back here into this triangle well guys the answer to these questions might surprise you make sure you watch this video all the way through because we will be talking about all of that make sure you scroll down and you smash up the like button for that video to at least three thousand likes thank you so much for that and that being said welcome crypto friends and welcome back to mm crypto my name is chris and as always we are really pumped to go straight into the content okay guys we are starting here on the four hourly candles for the bitcoin price and as we can see here bitcoin broke this long-term trend line we have actually put in all the way back here from this corona dump on the 14th of march 2020 and well of course it is sad to see that bitcoin broke it here after we were actually successfully holding it right here right here right there and even here for a couple of days and of course this is not considered to be bullish if we are breaking here this key market structure this is not the the best signal here but we want to evaluate right now how bad are the things and is there actually hope for the bitcoin price that we are not dumping down to these levels of six thousand and so on what are we looking out for right now so this is exactly what i'm going to talk about first of all i wanted to remind you what we have actually talked about with da vinci j15 that even after we break this level here this is not immediately the end of the world also bitcoin has to hold here the previous low and we can see we actually dipped down here as you can see right here but we are right back in that trading range and i want to say something these are here only the four hourly candles so we do actually want to see bitcoin not only to go back here above this level within today or tomorrow i would even consider it to be bullish in case bitcoin breaks within this week here preferably before the weekend of course back here into the triangle if bitcoin is not doing that of course we have to do what we don't like to do and we will come to the minus capitulation immediately there afterwards let me pull out here on the daily candles that's the best the fibonacci retracement level and i just wanted to remind you what we actually talked about a few days ago with da vinci j15 here in this video and we have been putting out here this fibonacci retracement level and what you can see here perfectly but really perfectly from the swing low to the swing high you can see that the price right now is holding perfectly strong here at the specific level we mentioned actually before which bitcoin has to hold and right now we are still holding strong but in case bitcoin breaks this specific 8600 us dollar level we have to be honest here and we will be looking out for the next fibonacci retracement level at 7700 us dollars which is the 38.2 i'm personally not shorting it i'm not longing anything i'm not shorting it right now i'm not trading at all as i mentioned also in the last video guys and for everyone asking right now for the worst case scenario well if we break down and we are not able to hold the 38.2 well guys in this case the worst case scenario would be here the golden pocket i do not consider that as to be a likely scenario but of course the 38.2 the 6000 to 6200 level would be in perfect alignment with the last line in the sand the line we actually can't break or we we are not supposed to break here which is the 200 week moving average it is right now coming here in a rapid fast speed here directly into the golden pocket and of course we do want to hold it otherwise i would call it an apocalyptic scenario well guys but if you are asking me right now about my personal opinion is bitcoin going to break down to the let's call it the 7700 us dollar areas here the 38.2 fibonacci retracement level 
I'm not too sure about that, guys. I'm not saying we are not gonna go uh, dump down, but the reason for that is once again also some on-chain metrics. Well, we talked about this possible dump. We talked about that miners capitulation before it actually happened. And well, guys, here, 45 minutes before I am talking right now, before I'm recording that, we saw this red diamond here popping up on the hash ribbons. You can verify that yourself by putting in hash ribbons here on TradingView. It's a free indicator. And you can see this miners capitulation actually was gonna go down. We have been calling that actually at this bull uh, buy signal already. So what I am calling right now, there is at least the possibility, at least the possibility that we will see another miners capitulation here approximately leading into May, leading into May or June here, the next miners capitulation may happen whenever the halving is going down that we might see another red diamond here on the hash ribbons guys remember what we said here back then in this video we have been calling that after the halving a new miners capitulation is gonna go down and of course sometimes we are seeing the miners and the retailers dumping on that event well but what i want to tell you right now and this is the reason why you shouldn't be freaking out right now is that this miners capitulation usually comes when the damage is already done guys and of course not only here from this charting perspective we can prove it because you can see the price going down and then the miners capitulation happens the afterwards the price is going up also here the exact same we went down from fourteen thousand dollars down to six thousand dollars and the miners capitulation was happening after the damage was already done the only strong exception is here actually the dump we have seen in november 2018 where the miners capitulation was coming over here and then we saw the dump but this is actually a very, very strong exception. It was a very great sell signal, but overall the miners capitulations are not providing us with a sell signal. And I do also not want to consider this miners capitulation a sell signal, even though Bitcoin is going down another 10%, 15%. Well, this is Bitcoin. This is pretty normal. These up to 40, 45% retracements are very, very normal. This is why we are just holding still and not trading while Bitcoin is breaking down since we are searching for longing opportunities. So we are catching always these uptrends. You saw all our successful trades. And when we are seeing Bitcoin breaking here, key market structure, at least for the midterm, go Going into a severe retracement this is when we are having the no trading zone at least for our own trading strategy and you should develop your own trading strategy but going back here and going to all these other yeah minus capitulation signals i do want to show you that usually these yeah capitulation candles they are coming after the damage is done here we can see actually that um, minus capitulation was coming here and we saw another significant retracement and yes i'm telling you guys this is still possible but this is only for the immediate short term these minus capitulations are even if you are zooming out to the daily three days or weekly candles extremely extremely bullish for the bitcoin price especially if they are happening after the halving as we can see it also happening today as we can see it right here in 2016 before we went up to 20,000 US dollars and I'm just saying that to tell you um, yeah if I wasn't clear enough about that yesterday this minus capitulation is not bad for Bitcoin it might be bad today yesterday tomorrow the day after tomorrow whatever but in the mid and long run it is considered to be very very bullish and if we are also looking at these yeah chopping around area uh, yeah minor minor capitulations here here, you can see usually this minus capitulation was coming after the damage was done and I will tell you exactly why this is the case also this one here it was all these red diamonds they were coming after the damage was done and the reason for that is very very simply put is that these um, yeah these long and short term moving averages this green line is the 30 day moving average of the hash rate and the gray line is the 60 day moving average of the hash rate and they are of course delayed they are slow lagging indicators since they are calculated from the last 30 respectively 60 days of the hash rate and of course we can also only get a delayed indication here here for um, for the miners capitulation the miners capitulation was happening all the way here to this specific area and I can prove that to you you can see here on the right hand side the uh, vertical line this is the this is the halving which was going to go down and of course you saw the um, hash rate going down here and the hash rate going down significantly this is the minus capitulation in it of itself what we are seeing here is is only the the signal for okay guys this is now considered to be a severe minus capitulation the most important thing about this specific indicator here though is is this specific buy signal and we are waiting right now for 
for this specific buy indication here, which usually occurs within 30 to 45 days after this minus capitulation signal here. And you guys, you do remember the deal. If we are going to the medium article, you can see the maximum gains to peaks always from the buy indication, this blue buy indication here on the trading view chart. We are waiting for this because these are the indications. These are the buying indications for outsized returns for Bitcoin. And you can see here an average return of 5,378%. However, guys, one quick warning here for the end. Something I really wanted to make you aware of. In the last halving, we were able to see one specific fractal, which was pretty similar to the one we are seeing right here. We saw some severe um, halving front running. Then we saw the halving, some chopping around. And then look at this. We saw here the minus capitulation and a severe dump for Bitcoin. In fact, guys, this specific dump here, only from the minus capitulation down, was approximately 29%. So, of course, we can see with, the, with all the fear going on here in the Bitcoin market, we can see a capitulation, which we actually already saw, but we can see also a price capitulation. Um, and we already saw that, but of course, this can develop a little bit more. So, in my opinion, I'm not trading here for the next few days until we are actually confirming here that the Bitcoin price is going to go further to the upside for good. And also something interesting to um, to, met, uh, to mention here is um, around the halving in 2016, we have put in here on the daily candles also this upward sloping trend line, which we developed here through a few days. Then we have hold it here. We hold it here. We actually also tested it here on two days. And then Bitcoin broke down and we saw the, um, yeah, the breakdown to the downside. And it is pretty, pretty similar to the structure we are seeing right now here with this yeah, long term uptrend we are actually having. We have a few confirmations here of this trend line and now we are actually breaking down the only question is is bitcoin going to chop around and then break down even further or not well only time will tell guys and we have to wait for the price to tell us actually what to do but overall i'm bullish here guys if you are looking at the downside being pretty limited here with this scenario and even with the um, golden pocket scenario which would still be of course a macro higher high on higher time frames if you are you are pulling out the two week candles then we are still here in a very bullish scenario for Bitcoin. Remember, guys, we have been at 3,800 US dollars. We are right now at 8,800 US dollars. I wouldn't consider that a bearish scenario. We just had the halving. The future inflation is being cut in half. So, guys, always remember, Bitcoin is bullish right now, and we are still in this bull trend, even though, yeah, we broke here the key market structure. Maybe we can see some, yeah, some downward, some more downwards momentum. But overall, guys, this is still looking bullish for Bitcoin. And, guys, next up closely connected to that breaking news the tether supply is shooting to the moon and this is considered the fiat currency of the crypto world you all know it it's the stable to coin tether we have been talking about that multiple times and look at this it is just increasing exponentially and right now we are having a market capitalization capitalization of 8.8 .8 billion us dollars and a small fun fact for you guys before i go to the implications for the bitcoin price i wanted to show you here our new twitter post I wanted to show you here our Twitter post where we have shared just a few minutes ago that one fiat currency has overtaken another fiat currency. So Tether was on rank number four and now it's um, yeah above XRP. And the only thing we wanted to mention with that is that things like US dollar Tether, they can easily be minted. And uh, usually, of course, this provides at least a little bit more buying pressure for Bitcoin. And our metric for that was actually the exchange balance of um, US dollar Tether on exchange. Changes. And if I'm showing you here the exchange balance, unfortunately, this has been going down here at least a little bit. You can see it right here. It is still on a high. It is still much higher than through, throughout the whole year 2019. But on the exchanges, the balance is not as high as it has been before. Um, and as we have been actually calling for much higher prices here after we hit 3,800 US dollars. And guys, you remember what happened. We went all the way um, up to 10,000 US dollars. And right now, the US dollar tether supply on exchanges going down is for us not specifically an indication which is considered to be bullish let's call this um yeah being right now in a neutral zone here of course it's a little bit sad that we have a few hundred million us dollar tether less here but looking at the current supply here we can see that we are at an all-time high and of course all it takes here from this being an explosive buy indicator is that these ones are finally put on exchanges of course and let's wait for that we will trace that for you and we will tell you exactly of course 
when that happens. By the way, guys, uh, subscribe to our Twitter channel here at MM Crypto on Twitter if you haven't already. And of course, guys, if you are like us and you are waiting here for the next yeah buy signal for Bitcoin, whenever it might come, we will keep you updated, guys scroll down we are providing you with 402 dollars completely for free on our trust ex exchanges bybit femex on dudex up to 200 dollars in total 402 dollars it is only for experienced traders and you have to deposit 0.2 bitcoin or 0.5 bitcoin but you will get these bonuses immediately and you can take a free trade with the free margin and with for the profits also completely for free thank you so much for watching guys and we will see each other very soon at the next one of mm crypto already tomorrow make sure you scroll down you smash the like button for that video this is all i'm asking for it really cheers us up a lot and it is completely free for you and we will see each other already tomorrow at the next one of mm crypto and as always guys as always bye bye